first of all, I have a pair of gloves here. This is for the fiberglass. Uh, the fiberglass is it's terrible stuff to work with, quite honestly. It's um, it spelks from it and um, splinters from it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, not much fun. So I put a pair of gloves on and I'm working with it. I've already cut a strip for the back of the board here and I've cut this to be 1820 mil long. Um, the plans will call for 1800. I've put an extra 10 mil on either side uh, just so I have again a little bit of wiggle room with it. And I've cut another two pieces which are 850. 850 long and they are for the back or the belly section of the bow. Just a point here, um, in the previous video when I was talking about the um, tape add laminate, I believe I was saying they were 650, whereas on the plan that's going to say 645. Uh, go with the plan, the plan 645, that's, that's good. Um, right, so I have all of the various pieces laid out here. Uh, what I want to do first of all is put a backing onto the fiberglass. This will protect the surface of it and it gives us something to mark it out onto. Um, what I'm going to use is, I've just got a little bit of um, masking tape. So I'm going to put strips of masking tape down the full length of these strips of fiberglass. Like so. And when we've done that, the glass, the, sorry, the tape is a little wider than the glass, so we'd want to trim that up to the actual length of the glass, to the width of the glass. This will easily peel back off once we get the bow out of the form. And as I say, it will protect it uh, from any resin spilling onto it and from any scratches that it may pick up. So having done that, having put the uh, masking tape on the back of these fiberglass strips here, um, these two for the very back, or so, sorry, I keep saying back, but for the belly of the bow, we can put up to one side for right now, and we want to mark out the profile of the bow on this uh, back strip. So the very first thing, we want to find the centre of that, and... If we're saying that this was cut at um, 1820, then that should be 91. I should give her the centre of it. Again, referring back to the plans, we want 15 centimetres, or 150 millimetres, either side of that centre mark. And it is from that mark that we're going to start tapering down towards the tips. And now we want to find the centre of it this way. Uh, and we want to mark the tips on. A device I have to do, a little thing here, this is just a very small block of wood. And it is half the width of this fibreglass. So if we put something to stop it from moving against one end, put the block in there, make a mark that will be the center and we also do the same at the tips now the block the other way is 11 millimeters so again if we square it up and put it in there I don't know if you can see that can you see that yeah put it in there make a mark then do the same on the other side then the measurement that we have here is now going to be 16 mil and we want to take that measurement from the point of the tip up to the 30 mark that we've just drawn on here oh sorry the 150 mark from the center that we've just drawn and that will give us the uh, profile at this point okay having done that we'll draw the center line in just by joining these ones up uh, steel rule is excellent for doing this Now, as I say, we want, we've come down here um, 15 mil from the centre, and we have our mark for the tips in there. So we're going to join those up from the 15 
mark there to that mark for the tip. That's looking good. All right, so that done, that gives us the profile marked out on there. And when we've put that into the form and it's obviously gone to the shape which it's going to go, we'll still be able to use those lines to uh, trim it down and sand it down later. Now, the next thing that we want to do, these two maple laminates uh, are going to be the, um, the back of the boat. They're going to be directly underneath the fiberglass. So what we want to do is join them together first to stop, again, stop them from separating and sliding apart once they're being glued in the form. And we want to do the same thing with our purple heart laminates, which we which is the taper of the bolt. The first thing we want to do is cut a slice. There's numerous ways you can do this. Uh, the best way I've found is if I'm going to clamp it to the side of the table, like so. I'm going to make a diagonal cut, get rid of the waste, and use a fast drying epoxy resin to put them together. This is only to hold these together as it's being glued. This is, uh, you're not really getting any structural um, integrity from this joint. It's simply to hold these two things together so that they don't pry apart when pressure is put on them in the form. Okay, so if you can see this, I'll try to keep my hands out of the way. Um, we have the centre marks which we put on the purple heart, which are aligned. And to keep this straight this way, I'm going to use the fiberglass strip, because the fiberglass strip is straight um, when it comes from the manufacturers. So, if we use that behind the purple heart, we can just line them up and get them just so they're correct. The tips are correct. Now, what we want to do is just put a clamp, keep that in place, and we'll put another clamp on the side of it. So, again, check once more, make sure that we haven't moved at all. That all looks good with the glass. Again, the angle of this isn't crucial. Um, I'm doing probably a 45 degree angle, and I'm trying to keep that close to the centre there. Um, as a point, actually, I may use it a little bit off-centre, because we are going to drill a datum uh, peg hole in the centre of this. And I suppose we don't want the joint too close to that. So what I'll do is I'll just cut it just beyond the centre there. And essentially you just want to cut that right the way through. So I'm going to take my clamps off. That section will come away. The under section comes away and we have a joint there which when glued I should keep these uh, separate laminates uh, in a straight line and give it enough grip so that it doesn't slide apart when we're gluing it. Now the prep for this, I've put a little bit of scrap wood down which is flat so that these joints are not going to be uh, off each other at all. And we have a piece of cling film on top of that. A very small amount of epoxy resin made up here and we're just going to put that on that cut like so. This is a fast drying epoxy, so this should be ready in about 15 minutes, something like that. Okay. So we want to put that one on there, put that one next to it, and they are going to join like so. It's always a good idea just to stand at one side of it and look down it as well to make sure that it looks uh, good with the fiberglass. If there's any wiggle on it, you know, if it's coming off this way at all, it's not going to fit in the form properly. So this is worth spending a little bit of time on to get correct. We want to do that same thing with the maple, which we're going to use for the, um, for the very back of the bowl. The epoxy resin has now gone off and we have these laminates joined. The last thing that we want to do before actually um, gluing this up is to make a hole for this peg. Uh, the peg is going to 
going to sit in the middle of the foam and it's going to go through the fiberglass, the uh, back strip of maple, the purple heart core and the handle and that will keep all of those in alignment as we're gluing the rest of the thing together. So we just want a small hole, same size as that dowel. depth of that and then check the depth on the form just so that nothing is going to be too 